Wow, such a powerful voice. Almost classical meets soul. Hey superstars, HBK Luke here. Hope you sexy boys and girls are doing great, baby. Let's go. Woo! We have Lara Fabian with Broken Bow, courtesy of the superstar Gino from Lara's 1999 eponymous fourth album. The performance is from from Lara with Love, which was her first American TV special broadcast. She's brilliant. Her live performances are something else. So let's get to it. It's showtime. I truly believe it's impossible to explain how you genuinely write a song. Something happens that I can't say with words. It's like something crosses my body. A melody comes out of me, and then suddenly that melody speaks. There is something magical about that. There is something you can't explain that goes through you like a storm, like a, something blossoming, like like why are we here and breathing and alive? I don't know that. I just know that when that happens and you really get that inspiration, it can't be replaced by anything. Thank you. I would like to finish this very special moment with a special song. And I'd like to put myself back into that moment where there was a hundred musicians, a wonderful conductor, and one of those songs that I, I believe you don't write often in your life. The song is a special song. It talks about betrayal, but it talks about forgiveness. I hope you're gonna like it. It's called Broken Vow. Such a powerful voice. Almost classical meets soul, isn't it? Because Lara always lays her soul out whenever we hear her sing. It's, uh, it really is beautiful. B -E -A. Beautiful. I like how the orchestra, you know, and those strings, they almost try and meet Lara's voice, don't they? But she just edges it because she's just sensational. And the two emotions that she talked about beforehand, really like that, actually, having the artists talk about songwriting or the process or a song beforehand. It gives you this little background, this little insight, doesn't it, into their mind and what they were feeling and how it kind of affects them, which I think is brilliant, actually. But we've got these two contrasting emotions and it comes across brilliantly in the music 
but more importantly, in Lara's voice, full of emotion, full of power as always, and full of different expressions and emotions. Wow. This is one of those songs where you wish you'd just had a breakup so you could listen to this while feeling heartbroken and trying to get over a relationship, don't you? Sensational, as always. I mean, it gets me every time, even though I know it's going to be spectacular, always takes it to another level. The power, the resonance, I think. Maybe that's what it is, the resonance in her voice. And there's just little subtle things, the sharp intakes of breath, the little tremor towards the end there, and the way that she powers up throughout, you know, she gives us little glimpses, you know, some high notes, some extended notes, gives us a little bit more volume, a little bit more power, but it's that final third where she really is just phenomenal because she lets it all out. It builds up, and there's almost a theater, like an artistic theater to her performances, aren't there? With the facial expressions, with the body movements, you feel like it is coming from her soul. And she talked about it at the start there, the experience of her songwriting and not being able to explain it. You feel like she goes to that place when she performs it. And I think because there's so much that she's resonating with as she's singing, it adds this extra bit of emotion and connection that you have to Lara Fabian. And I think that that's why 
she's so impressive and so spectacular, you know, because how many people have a great voice, but don't have the same, you know, there's a stage presence, there's a real connection that she has with the audience and with me just watching and listening that I'm just intrigued. I want to know more. I really want to see this whole show, actually, because I like having these little bits before each song where we kind of talk about it. I think that's uh, brilliant to see into the mind of the genius of the artist. I really like the music for this as well. It, it had that feeling of this, you know, almost this musical score you could imagine it being. Um, because it's got this very light piano, it's got the soaring strings, but they're very moody. You know, there's a kind of light, and it's these two contrasting emotions, I guess, isn't it, that come across in Lara's singing as well, where, you know, it's this struggle of accepting the end of a relationship and letting go of the past. You've got this mixed emotion where you're wanting to move on until she talks about forgiveness, but at the same time, you know, you're kind of wanting to know why it's ended. You know, you're almost wanting these reasons. And I think you know, the, the best way to move on, certainly that I've found in the past, is to not focus on the why, because the why isn't important. The why is different for everyone. And it's not necessarily going to give you the closure that you want, because sometimes there isn't a logical reason. There isn't a logical why, because we're human and not don't always apply by logic. Um, I think, you know, it's all about and it kind of it comes with, I guess, that forgiveness is, you know, appreciate the good times with someone. We're not meant to be with someone forever sometimes. It's only meant to be a little part of our life, I think. Especially if you're going to grow and develop and change in different ways to each other. So I think it's important to appreciate what you have for the time that you had it. Um, and also be very accepting that it could come to an end and will come to an end at some point. Um... And I think if you have that mindset, it's a lot easier then to let go because you're not seeking that why. You have the sadness of the end, but you're already prepared almost to move on to that next step. But heartbreak sucks. Broken vows suck. But they were made a lot easier with the gorgeous voice of Lara Fabian, aren't they? Big shout out to Gino for recommending this. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Please like and subscribe. And HBK Luke is...